Hello, and welcome to our lesson for today. I'm Ms. D. Today, our lesson will focus on chaining. Materials. The materials that you'll need for today's lesson is a piece of paper and your pencil. We have three learning targets for today's lesson. The first learning target says, I can feel and count the syllables in the words of a poem. The second learning target says, I can add or change a phoneme in a one syllable spoken word to make a new word. And our third learning target says, I can read and spell CVC words. Read aloud. Let's read our poem today and listen for the beat. Follow along and clap as I read. I don't know what to do today. Should I say or should I play? If I say, I have to mop. And if I play, I get to hop. I could go for a walk or ask my mom to help me cook. Too many choices. I don't know what I ought to do. Maybe I should just ask you. Word work. In the poem, we heard the word today. How many beats? or syllables are in the word today. Yes, two syllables. What is the first syllable or beat in the word today? Yes, two. What is the second syllable in the word today? Yes, day, to day. We also heard the word maybe in our poem. How many syllables are in the word maybe? Yes, two syllables. What is the first syllable in the word maybe? Yes, may. What is the second syllable in the word maybe? Yes, be. May be. Now that we've listened for each syllable in words that have more than one syllable, let's play a game with words that have just one syllable. We can make new words by switching one of the letter sounds with a different letter sound. If we start with the word we know, we can make new words just by changing one letter sound. Let's start with the word dog. D, a, g. Now you try with me. D. Ah, g. What do these three sounds make when blended together? Dog. Here's another word. Only one letter has changed. There was a D first. Now there is an H. The sounds in this word are Ah, g. What word do these three sounds make when blended together? Hog. Now we will use sound boxes to help us spell more words with the short O in the middle. Grab your pencil and paper. This word is 
rot. R, a, t, rot. You tap it with me. R, a, t. How many sounds do you hear in the word rot? Three sounds. You got it. Now we'll use our sound boxes. Each box will hold one sound. What is the first sound in rot? Yes, r. And we spell r with the letter R. We will put that in the first box. What sound do you hear? Next in the word, rot. Yes, we hear the ah sound. And we spell the ah sound with the letter O. So we will write that in the next box. What sound do you hear at the end of rot? Yes the t sound and we spell the t sound with the letter t r a t rot write the word rot on your paper let's try another word m mm, a B, mob. Now you try it with me. M, a, b. How many sounds do you hear in the word mob? There are three sounds. Let's use our sound boxes to spell our word. What is the first sound you hear in mob? Yes, the first sound is m, mm, and we spell m mm with the letter m. What is the next sound you hear in the word mob? Yes, we hear the ah sound and we spell the ah sound with the letter o what is the last sound you hear in the word mob yes we hear the b sound at the end and we spell the b sound with the letter b mob Write the word mob on your paper. Closing reflection. How can we figure out the final sound in the word rod? Yes, we can do our finger to thumb tapping technique. Continue to match sounds to letters to blend them and create new words. See you next time. Bye.